Hello, my Choo Choo family. I'm your fun-loving happy vlogger, Tom Choo Choo. So October is like my favorite month because it's one month before my birthday. But more importantly, my favorite holiday is Halloween. So last year during this time, I had done a few mukbang videos with collaborators and also sharing some paranormal stories of my own. And if you're new to my channel, I lost all my old videos last year and also all my subscribers. But thanks to myself, I saved up all my old mukbang videos so I can upload them all again. What you're about to watch is a pre-keto mukbang videos. So don't ask me if they're keto because they're not. And now here's my throwback mukbang. Choo choo! I see there they go. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to call myself Tom Choo Mukbang. <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> you know, I am Pikachu. And I have my Superman friend, Kana's world, right next to me. Thanks. Hello, everybody. Yes. And of course, we have our sexy, beautiful lady behind this camera. <laughs> lady, say hi. Hi. Come make a scene. <laughs> Yeah, she'll make a Power Ranger appearance. <laughs> I went online and then grabbed this Pikachu costume, and this costume is damn horrible. When you told me you got that costume, I was like, I should find one. <laughs> yeah, but literally, I felt like they should stuff the cotton in this so I it make can it sticky, actually yeah, stick yeah. out. This looks like a sad Pikachu. You know, have you, uh, you know, like the pudding dog in some real? Nope. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it looks like. A knockoff version of that. <laughs> you could just put um, what is it? Those uh, metal rods. Oh, you're right. Okay, too much work. <laughs> anyway, on that note, we're eating Savoy Kitchen today, and uh, this is the Hainan chicken they're famous for. Um, it's cash only, by the way. Just in case, if anyone out there that wants to eat, make sure you bring cash. It's still cash only. Yeah, always. It's Even though they have a new parking <laughs> lot right now, like you don't have to find parking. No more? No more. Uh, <laughs> still cash only, guys. Wow. Yeah. And... Dun dun dun! Kenneth's going to try this today. This is... Escargot. Is AKA that... snails. Oh yeah, well it's just snails. <laughs> That's why I was saying, like it's snails with bread. But... Kenna has never had it. Have you tried it before? Never. Like even touch, use your tongue to touch the tip of the snail. No, I've grown up, I've put salt on the snail. Like, oh, like oh, as okay. a kid, you know, like yeah. bubble up. And... Yeah, okay. <laughs> and thanks Kenna for the box. I opened my fire sauce. Good, 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 good. So we're going to eat some more of this. Are you going to eat he some? Is. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I'm telling <you> right now. <laughs> okay, but he is going to try escargot. Because, you know, I had... I told him, would you rather do this, or would you rather do this? I said neither, but peer pressure between Letty and him. Yes. <laughs> yes, your wife loves you so much, yeah. she put you on the spot. Always. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Hainan chicken always come with the sauce, you know, they come with the soy sauce, the... I don't know what the sauce is, but it's a little bit spicy, and also the ginger. Yeah, that's... That's probably like the yes. best one. Yeah. And without further ado, let's dig in. <laughs> yes. I'm going to start putting your uh, title <laughs> after I do that, the whole thing. <laughs> okay, let's oh, eat. Yeah. So Savoy so has been around for like 20 years. Ever. 30 years. I remember yeah. working at the pharmacy um, at CVS. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And me and my boss would always order this. And that this was at least over... 15 years ago? For sure. Yeah. I Ever since I, I, I came to the state, uh, I think they barely opened. So it's probably 20 years now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember during that time, like the only parking ute that they had was right in front. Yes. And uh, now they finally have a parking structure just right across from uh, the, the restaurant. And so people have a better chance to park and, and eat there. The weight is still pain in the ass, guys. <laughs> Did you have to wait that long? I didn't have to wait it because I just told them, hey, I'm taking it to go. Oh, okay, So I okay, just okay. need to pick it up. Yep. I am going to put this right into my rice. You know, I actually find this sauce really yummy. Yeah. I love spicy, so this sauce really gave me that kick. Good. Mmm. You guys first piece? Cheers! Uh, should we touch it? Should we touch it? That's <laughs> all done. Oh, 
Mm. Oh my god. That is. Mm. Mm. Even the rice. Oh man. The yeah. rice, they cook it in the um the fat, the the, the chicken fat. Chicken, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They, uh, a lot of Cantonese cuisines they use uh chicken fat and uh, like the, the chicken soup. Oh okay. To just drizzle on the top. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. Okay. Mm. Food jazz. Yeah. You gotta do the appetizer first. So as oh, taro okay. usually go with like as an appetizer, right? Okay. So okay. that's why you have the bread for the dipping sauce. You will love it. See, that's a sign. You're not supposed to eat it. You can't even open it. Damn. <laughs> no. I just don't want it to, to like dirty up my costume. I am not a dirty Pikachu, guys. Some Pikachu's are dirty. I don't need to. Oh, <laughs> this is not that kind of channel yet. <laughs> okay. All right. All so, right, so you, you, you're the expert, so. You, you grab your fork. Okay. And then just grab a piece of it. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do it with you. Alright. And then you just stab it. Okay. okay, so guys, this is the snail. And uh you just eat it like this. It's all black. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is for you guys. Yes, Everyone for you watching. Guys. Oh yes. my god. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell while Kenna is eating that. Oh man. Okay, you gotta yeah, you gotta try it. Let's do it. One, One two, two, three. three. And then you chew it. That part I kind of know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. You might swallow it. I don't know. That would have been smart. Just... All right. How do you like it? As long as you leave that mental thing of that it being a snail out, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the flavor, the texture is actually pretty good. Yeah, see? It's not like, see? But the moment you think that it's a snail, it's like, gosh, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> now you might see if a snail goes by, you'd be like, ooh, that thing is so tasty. No? Okay. I, we live in Corona where there's like tons and tons of cows. I'm never thinking, oh man, that looks tasty. <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh, I forgot about that. But every time when a duck walks past by, I'll be like, mmm. Peking duck. <laughs> yes. <laughs> More food for me. <laughs> well, I mean, like we're in Vietnam and stuff like that. That's that's how they have to think. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. right? So, um, but other than that, uh, with the escargot, it's the sauce that's delicious right you taste the sauce and then the sauce is it's very garlicky and that's right. i like how savoy does it so so savoy does it the best mm, it's different what's the best place for escargot don't, i don't know <laughs> i love i wish to tell you but this is the only place i have ever eaten uh, escargot mm. yeah. i know some places they do uh, um they literally have the shell yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. have to suck on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just grab it. No, I don't have it. I don't know. Would you ever do it with the shell on? Hell yeah. <laughs> the fresh, the better. All right. But I cannot eat things that are just like crawling around. Oh, like no, no. When they're live, no, no, no. No, no, no. I'm not that kind of mukbangers, okay? <laughs> You're crazy people Next video, you'll see them like <laughs> suck on a little squid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I won't be in that video. Just saying. But he'll do it for the view. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like your food, Eddie? Oh, um, I think. Bring your fork. <laughs> you want to try it? No? <laughs> no? No? Okay, why? It's not that bad, right? No, it's not bad. Yeah. If you, if you, like, with a lot of food, if you don't think about what it actually is, mm -hmm. it actually is good. Mm hmm Yep. Like, if you know the process of how to make it and mm -hmm. how it's done, mm -hmm. you, wouldn't, you wouldn't eat half of the stuff, like hot dogs. Oh, yeah. I think someone showed me like a video of like them making the hot dogs mm -hmm. and pulverizing the meat. I was like, wow. Yeah. Mm. I know. I hear you. Mm. I mean, I, when I go to Costco, I still enjoy one of their hot dogs. So. Yeah, because it's cheap. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then it's such a good deal for mm -hmm. the long, juicy hot dog. Mm. I love how you emphasize certain word. Long <laughs> and juicy. And juicy. <laughs> Have to. lefty has been doing that too. Yeah, long and juicy. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Let it be doing that. Don't start rumors, please. Mm -hmm. I love rumors. Since it's Halloween, right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about something interesting during Halloween. Mm -hmm. Besides people just partying their way up 
and then just um dress up and be sluts. I mean, there are actually very kid friendly things that happen during Halloween. For instance, trick or treating. Have you, when you were younger, do you do trick or treating or do you still do trick or treating? Man, this food is too good. Mm. Do take your time. Mm. 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 Oh man. Oh. Mm. So, trick or treating we don't do anymore. I mean, we still give out candies to kids who come by. Mm -hmm. But um, growing up, I did do trick or treating. One of the biggest things I did hmm, when I was a kid is um, we would kind of go trick or treating later, uh, not too late to where it's all dark, but a little later because you when there are different neighborhoods, mm -hmm. rich neighborhoods, poor neighborhoods, yeah. you kind of know. Yeah. So when you go for the candy, you go for like the regular neighborhoods, they'll give you regular size. Right. As you go up the scale in the neighborhood, they start giving you king size. Oh. And then later, okay. later on, when they out, out of money, this is when me and my buddies would go trick or treating. They would give out money, <gasps> like in substitute for candy, and that's the neighborhoods we went to when we were kids. So, so literally, like you would earn a lot of money when you go to Halloween trick like or treating. A, yeah, like a dollar or two per house. And what? And this, um, I I don't need to do YouTube anymore. I, <laughs> I'm not going to be a YouTuber. I'm just going to be a trick or treater. Okay, now throughout the year you can't trick or treat at their place. <laughs> <laughs> that was doing. Oh, those are called homeless. Oh, okay, that's a different story. <laughs> right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. Oops. I got it mixed up, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. But yeah, that that's that was my thing when we were growing up to go trick or treating at like late usually a little bit usually when the smaller kids kind of go home, like mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I remember when I trick or treat. Um it was when I first got to the state, because um, in Taiwan, we don't trick-or-treat. There's no such thing as trick-or-treating. No oh, wow. The only thing you care about is ghosts running around during July, okay? So, um, it was very fresh, and it was interesting for us. So, I was in the middle school. Um, do you have any experience that were weird doing trick-or-treating? Weird? Mm -hmm. No, but we knew the houses to avoid. Oh. Well, for two reasons. One, we knew, like, the, the guy would where he would be hiding to scare the shit out of you. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. the most cliche one is, like, the scarecrow sitting on the chair right by the door. Like, there's one occasion where they put the, like, they had a scarecrow and the bowl was right next to the scarecrow. Mm -hmm. Or, and then, like, every, every kid would walk up and they would wait for the kids to huddle around the bowl. Yeah. Because, like, you know when you see a bowl, like, kids mm -hmm. would try and grab as many as they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then the moment it got crowded, the guy would pop out and you would see every kid running in every direction. Like, there are people, like, jumping over the fences yeah. and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Okay, you should have another one. Oh my God. There's only six. I wanted him to eat it all. <laughs> I only have three right now, so. Can have, I more, have, have more, have more, have more. <laughs> Lady wants one. Okay, here. We'll, we'll save her one. <laughs> Saucy. Ooh. All right. Cheers, people. Oop. Oh. Yeah, I mean, the sauce kind of coats the yeah. thing, yeah. Yeah. No. It makes you feel like, oh, you're just eating garlic. In a sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's food. Mm. I love Savoy because, um, you know, eating, I, it's almost like a comfort food that eating growing up. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And since Kano, they, I used to live around my area. It's one of those foods that bring you back into time for mm -hmm, me. Mm -hmm. Like the dish itself is <clears throat> one of my favorite dishes, like... Like, it's to a point where Letty's mom always makes chicken. Yeah, but how come you never had a taco? Because <laughs> I've never... You know, sometimes if you love a restaurant, you will want to try every single menu, uh, every single food on the menu, no? If if the restaurant is known for, like, the one oh dish, God. that's the dish I'm always going to go. Oh, like, okay. I've never... The only other thing I've had from Savoy other than this was the tiramisu. Okay. Which yeah. they did good. Okay. But when a restaurant is known for their one thing, that's... You should always go there, especially if you don't get it that often. Yeah. Okay, you're right. When in doubt, get, there you the, go. get their signatures. <laughs> there you don't go. Don't just go in and try to grab like a fried rice. <laughs> you don't know what's in there. Exactly. More than escargot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, Savoy. So just don't fool me. I was joking. Savoy's so gonna like bad you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad review. Who is this Tom Chu mukbang? <laughs> 
Mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. I'm talking about jump scares. Uh-huh. Something I used to do with Leslie when we were dating a long time ago. What, like 20 years ago? <laughs> Is that whenever we watch a scary movie, mm-hmm. I would wait. I would like you know when you hear, when you watch a scary movie, you know the music drops, yeah. and you know when the jump scare happens, right? Yeah. So I try to pinpoint it right before the jump scare to scare her. Okay. Like, like, gotcha. Like, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And it worked all the time, but now it doesn't work on her anymore. <laughs> oh, because she knows. Yeah, she knows that. that that's what, that's what I'm gonna do. Gotcha. But when we're dating, oh my god. So tips for anyone dating: do that. It's it's fun. Yeah. Because you actually are the cause of the scare, which makes it even more fun. Yeah, but you're going to get punched so hard. <laughs> right? Right, Betty? <Eddie>? Yes. <laughs> all right, don't do it all the time. Okay, I know. I know what kind of relationship can I be. <laughs> even more funny is when a girl does it to a guy. Mm. Oh, my God. It, it makes me laugh so much. And the guys are more scared than the girls. Oh, yeah. Oh. I don't know. I, I don't know if I find things scary. Like, no, I don't. It's weird, right? Like, because I went to um, Universal one time, and we went through the um, the maze, living living dead maze. They have, okay. the, but this is all year long, so it's mm-hmm. not during Halloween. No. Um, oh, those are fun. <laughs> When you walk through and you know the rides, you kind of like, okay, he's going to pop out of that closed door yeah. in that corner. Yeah. So you kind of predict it, right? Yeah. yeah. But I went in with um, like his sister Lupe. Mm-hmm. And they would, I don't know if they don't, like, they don't think the logically like I do or you do, but they they were scared the whole time, like clenching my finger, yeah. clenching my hand. Yeah. It's to a point where like they were pulling me out of the maze at the yes. end of it. Yes. Oh my God. There's one time my friend ripped my, my, my sleeves. Oh my god. Because she was so scared of what uh, the maze was. Mm. And yeah, it's, I don't get it. I, I found it hilarious. Mm-hmm. So every time when I walk into the maze, I ended up laughing my ass off. Seriously, me too. Like, right? literally, the maze, at the end of the maze, right? Yeah. Um, Lupe and her, the, the friend that was here, like, yeah. ran out, like, crying, yeah. right? Oh my god. I couldn't stop laughing. Yeah. I, like, had to kneel down to laugh. And then the security guard behind me, sir, please move along. Yeah. yeah. I just, like, on yeah. my end. <laughs> Hysterical. Yeah, exactly. Because you know, like you see, okay, he's standing up there. Yeah. Okay, that that there, yeah. there's a door right there. Yeah. And there's a window right yeah. there. You and when of... it gets crowded, you know where they are because yeah, yeah. the people who got scared in front, front of, of you, you. Yeah. you already know what's gonna happen. And why are you still scared and terrified? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what happened to me. So, so that's why I ended up finding it really funny. Yeah. Very entertaining for me. Yeah, I mean, if you're alone in it, it might be a little different story. Mm-hmm. But since there's a, enough people where you like the group of friends of you, that guy already popped out. Yeah, yeah. I laugh when like you see the guy popping back in mm-hmm. through the through the where he was supposed to be hiding. Oh my god! But Queen Mary is actually pretty creepy if you think of, if you not the jump scares, but the um, stories behind it. Did you ever have you ever gone on like the actual like tour of Queen Mary? No. Oh my god! What? I think I talked about it in one of my previous videos. That like there's a tour that goes through Queen Mary and they tell you about all the stories of the, about the people that mm-hmm. died or, or about the ghosts. It's it's like a eerie kind of creepy. It's not a jump scare, but it's like that scare that kind of tingles behind your neck. Yeah, yeah. You know why? Like ghost stories. Because sometimes when I see there's like the, the the people who are hiding and try to scare people, but I also see something that literally just hang around. What do you mean just hang around? Like, they would say, oh, there's one person there, there's one person there. And I'm like, but there's also another person over there. <laughs> Seriously? And, and then they were like, <gasps> oh, you added, you added so that, okay, okay. You got me there for a moment. So, yeah, you add another person and kind of intensify. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Oh, my God. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. I know that game. Yeah, but it wasn't like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I, this is how you scare people. You, you say it in, like, that deep voice, like, yeah, but no. Yeah, but no. <laughs> Just so you know, I see dead people. So I want too many of those stories. Okay, so Pikachu mukbang turned into a very ghost story, real life oh, experience. Wh- <laughs> why is all, always all these ghost stories without feet? I don't know why. Okay. Like, I, I, <clears throat> like you see the face, you see the arms, you see the body, yeah, but no one yeah. ever like, I, I don't know, maybe it's like your mind saying that, that, that that's a ghost. It doesn't walk, so it doesn't need feet. 
Or let's put in a perspective. Maybe the crash made his feet or her feet stuck, so his whole body was split in half. So we cut the person in half. Yeah, and then so you can only see the top. I am kidding. <laughs> 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 Lady is like, okay, no more collaboration. Honestly, ghosts are not that scary, but it's the twist of what happened in the story that makes you jump. Hmm. Like if you can really see a ghost, you just see the girls standing there and then like waving at you. That's all. I mean, that's most of the time you see. But the story behind the ghost is what creeps you out. I think the ghost actually will creep me out. I don't need to know the story <laughs> behind the ghost. <laughs> Really? What do you think, Lady? Yeah, I get scared of the ghost. Oh. <laughs> no, because you're, you're... crickets. <laughs> <laughs> no, the, I mean, okay. So you're telling me right now that you're not going to be scared if suddenly a ghost appears like right here. No. But then, if she tells you the story, then you can get scared. No. But I will find it very interesting. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, um, just like a quick story that I share. Um, there's one time at the theater where I perform. I saw a little girl just running to the backstage. Oh wow! But I was the only person there. Yeah. And then I asked my director. I was like, "Huh? What happened?" Right? And then he said, "Oh yeah, there were a lot of haunted stories about little girls like running around the the theater space." So I'm like, "Okay, well, I just saw one." <laughs> just like, hmm, yeah, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> yeah. So I wasn't get I wouldn't get scared or anything. Unless okay. they harass you or they they trying to do some. Do you know that ghosts? Okay, this is just what my um my spiritual friends told me. Okay, ghosts have powers, guys, and then the stronger the ghosts, the the powerful they get. But their power is in the elemental of wind. So open doors, close blinds, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. cabinets opening, closing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pushing stuff. Right, and then you wouldn't the be... chill behind your back. Yeah, the chill behind your back, or sometimes uh, air like just blowing right next to your ear. That mm -hmm. might be Letty, but <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, the, this is the twist he's talking about. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh -huh. um, no, but um, so there are a lot of times when my friend, my friend can see ghosts, and then she, she's a lot of times she can hear ghosts, okay. right? But a lot of times you will be in an empty a room where all the closed windows and then you all of a sudden feel like there's air just right next to your face and it's just like and then she would know there's something there Interesting. like like this i smell high i'm chicken <laughs> and that's cargo <laughs> <laughs> okay uh -huh. well how do you like your food fantastic it's never a uh, fail for me there's two more as cargo do you want to finish it one each? Yes. All right. Let's do it. And then we'll call it the day. There you go. Okay. Okay. Letty, you are missing out. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, Cheers. Okay. Anyway. Okay. I definitely will invite Kana back for more. You know, after Halloween, of course. So we can share more after Halloween trick-or-treating stories. Oh, yeah. After Halloween trick-or-treating? No, trick or treating, treating after Halloween. Anyway, <laughs> that's not important. <laughs> please like and subscribe and hit that notification button. And uh, please also um, click on Kana's World so you can watch more because I'm going to put his face over there. Wait, oh, in between us. Okay, yes. I, I thought you are going to be putting it over my face because my face is already here. That too. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.